Hi Aquarius, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading, first half of July. This is your love reading, what are their true intentions in love with you, alright, hopefully they have some, um, right, uh, there are some good guys out there and some good chicks out there. <laughs> Let's get into the, re into the reading, don't forget your, your Moon Rising and Venus videos. And if you don't know those uh, zodiac signs, you can always go to cafeastrology.com and get your chart there. You're going to get a far more complete picture, I believe, uh, at least with your moon here, um, on your situation or on your union about your life. And um, yeah, the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, is the Eight of Swords and also the Knight of Wands. So this is going to be your, your love reading, what are their true intentions in love with you. I think I did mention that. Um, but yeah, the Nine of Wands, you could be dealing maybe with a fire sign here. Uh, there could be somebody who's kind of in and out as well. The Nine of Wands is going to show up uh, for different reasons depending on the reading itself and the outer line cards. But let's get into it. The Eight of Swords is, to me, uh, mostly the same all the time. It is just about somebody who is feeling stuck and not knowing how to release themselves from a situation here, okay? So the Six of Wands, Aquarius, is the uh, overarching energy about your union, okay? So you could be overcoming, there could be victory. Let's see why that Six of Wands is there. Clarify the Six of Wands for Aquarius and their person. The Fool is here. I feel like, you know, I feel like somebody has the confidence here. Yeah, and the courage to take a leap of faith on their own here. Let's get a card on the Fool. Why is he Fool showing up, please? Six of Cups. So this can be about somebody from the past. It can be about you know, a soulmate. Uh, maybe somebody you could have, like, you know, kind of nostalgia about, like, you know, really, like, sweet feelings about. But I feel like what's happening here is that uh, it could be that somebody had ego here, maybe, um... And somebody could be overcoming a situation where somebody else took a leap of faith on somebody from the past. Let's get into the reading and we shall find out, okay? Your current energy right now is the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Aquarius. So you could be feeling super unstable here. This can also be about uh, exploiting other people, kind of like taking advantage. But this can also just be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn could be in the reverse, right? Maybe they've done something here. Um, let's see why the King of Pentacles is there. Clarify that King, please, of Pentacles. Wow, Page of Wands in the reverse here. Okay, so the Page of Wands in the reverse to me is somebody who cannot deal with change. They, they, they don't want to take a new path here. They don't want, they're resisting change. That's what that is, okay? It can be a lack of inspiration too. Yeah, kind of like the Eight of Swords a little bit, like, you know, just totally uninspired sometimes. Sometimes the a lack of inspiration can cause somebody to feel stuck. Let's keep going, though. This is your current energy. Wow. I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign, though, maybe, who has, uh, you know, maybe you are, yeah, maybe you are trying to resist change with somebody. Let's get another card on that. Wow, clarify the page of wands in the reverse. Why does Aquarius have that? The devil. So you can be dealing with a Capricorn, right? No doubt, maybe, for some of you guys, because the King of Pentacles can also be Capricorn. I feel like you're feeling stuck here, totally. Uh, yeah, and you're resisting change in some way here, okay? You could be resisting somebody... You could also be feeling stuck about somebody else, maybe, who is resisting change here. They could be trying to go on their own way, though. Let's, let's keep going here. The Nine of Wands, we're going to go back and revisit that. Clarify that with these rest of the cards. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Why does Aquarius desire that? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you see what I mean about an earth sign for some of you guys. I feel like, Aquarius, that you, uh, I feel like you want to release yourself from, uh, yeah, from a Knight of Pentacles, and you're feeling guarded here. You want to, you know, you want to change that, right? You want to 
come out of feeling guarded with them. Um, you could also possibly be wanting somebody who is this wounded warrior who is hurt here. Maybe that's the maybe that's why they're in the reverse here. Let's keep going. We're gonna find out. Okay, clarify that Knight of Pentacles though. Why does Aquarius want the Knight of Pentacles in the re no not in the reverse? He's in the upright. Two of Cups. So I feel like you want this. You I feel like you are desiring an Earth sign Aquarius. Um, but you're guarded about them, or they're guarded about you. The Hierophant is how you are seeing them. It could be a Taurus, right? Why does Aquarius see their person as the Hierophant? Seven of Swords. I feel like you're seeing them as either you are sneaky uh, in the Union, or they are sneaky. You could be seeing your person as a sneaky Taurian, right? You could be dealing with a Taurus. Let's get one more card. Why does Aquarius see them as the Seven of Swords? High Priestess. You could be seeing them as having a secret. That that could that's I feel like that's exactly what this is. Yeah, Seven of Swords, High Priestess. Um. Mm-hmm. Wow. You could also be dealing with somebody who's really intuitive, and you can, you might be thinking that they are trying to figure everything out intuitively here, and that to in in your eyes. Maybe they are a bit sneaky here. Let's get the let's get a card on the high priestess. Let's clarify that high priestess. Knight of Wands. Your person could also be a secret, just so you know, right? You could have a secret, maybe. Knight of Wands. I feel like you're seeing them as having a secret and that they are a bit of a player here. Their energy is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Let's see why. So the Eight of Wands in the reverse is usually. Uh, is usually an energy where there are blockages and delays, right? Let's clarify that Eight of Wands. Why is that Eight of Wands there, please? Why is the Eight of Wands there, please? Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like your person uh, is worried here because there are delays or blockages. The Ace of Cups is what they desire. Yeah, and now the Ace of Wands is here with it. Wow. Let's get one more card. Why do they desire the... Ace of Wands here. This person, though, you could be sneaky about them, Aquarius. Let's let right. That could be the case here, right? Because you're seeing them as the eight, eight of Nine of Wands, which can be the wounded warrior here, right? This guy's guarding his heart. He's already been through a battle. He usually has a bandage on his head, but this guy's at least he's he's watching. He's watching for um, you know, for anybody to attack, right? Or anybody to kind of disturb his fort here, or his life, his heart, um, you could have maybe had somebody else, because you have the devil here, it's possible. And you could have put this king of pentacles in the reverse, maybe. Yeah. So let's, let's keep going. Ace of Wands is here. Wow. Ace of Wands is... What they desire. Why do they... Okay, so they want the Ace of Wands. They want to end the cycle and have a new cycle. They do. So they want to at least... The world is here. Let's see what else they want. Clarify the world. They could be wanting somebody to live far away for some of you guys. The world card can be about distance, right? Clarify the world card, please. Yeah, they want a union here, definitely. Ten of Pentacles, world. Yeah, Ace... Of cups, ace of wands. They want a union here, but I feel like they want a new cycle in a current union, or they want to end one and have another one. But they're worried about delays here. Wow. Clarify the page of swords. Why do they see Aquarius as the page of swords? Somebody has a secret here. I feel like it is your person. Yeah, I feel like it's your person. They have a secret here. So they're seeing you. Well, they're seeing you as maybe holding on to something here. Right? They could be seeing you maybe as having a secret. Let's get one more card. Why is that? Why do they see Aquarius that way? The Four of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. They could be seeing you as defensive. They could be seeing you as stalking them. They could also be needing more information, thinking that you are holding on to somebody. 
Let's clarify their let's clarify the nine of swords in their current energy. Why do they have what is Aquarius this person have the nine of swords in their current energy? So they're worried about you leaving them out here, or they they're worried about uh, they're worried about something here about somebody being left out in the cold. They're worried about delays, and they're worried about being left out in the cold. Your person could be, yeah, and here they want a new cycle. So I feel like your person could be wanting a new cycle maybe with somebody else. This could be the case here, okay, for some of you guys. And they're worried if they don't take action possibly or that delays are going to maybe put them out in the cold. Yeah, or they could be feeling left out in the cold because of some type of delays and they're worried. Wow. The Queen of Cups is the past dynamic. There could be a water sign here, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Let's see why. I feel like they have a secret, right? Yeah, I feel like they are the ones that have a secret. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Two of Pentacles is here. The current dynamic, I feel like, is that somebody's juggling here a water sign. Okay, as I just said, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. That could definitely be the case here. Let's get one more card. This is the actually the past dynamic. Excuse me. Why is the Two of Pentacles there? Why is the past dynamic the Two of Pentacles? Interestingly enough, though, there are no threes in this reading yet. Wow. Hmm. You could be dealing with the high priestess, though. You could be. You could, right? Because you could be seeing them. Here, this is how you are seeing them as the high priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Mm-hmm. Because down here, the Two of Pentacles in the past dynamic with the Queen of Cups here, uh, either you're seeing them with a secret or you're seeing them as uh, maybe you could be dealing with one. I feel like you're dealing with the King of Pentacles, though, for some of you guys showing up. This could also be in your current energy, Aquarius. You could be feeling super unstable here. You could, yeah. Yeah, with the Devil. King of Pentacles in the reverse with the Devil and the Page of Wands. You could be feeling super unstable and not wanting things to change and feeling stuck about it. Eight of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. That is the ultimate stuck, right? It's the ultimate restriction. Yeah. Because I feel like you want to release yourself, maybe, from a, uh, a King of Pentacles here. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's just keep going here. So the past dynamic, somebody could have been juggling a water sign, or you could be maybe with a water sign, but I feel like it's it's the King of Pentacles. See, there's a lot of people here already, so you know it's hard to actually peg, right? I feel like you need a total crystal ball for that, right? When there's too many people involved. Not only is it confusing for the people who are in this, but the people who are reading for that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get a card on the Two of Pentacles. Why is that Two of Pentacles showing up there in the past dynamic? with Aquarius and their person. This is interesting, because I just had a, an Aquarian call me maybe two weeks ago and tell me that they were, told me they were dealing with somebody and that they were cheating on them uh, with a water sign. Okay, so here the Queen of Cups is here with the Two of Pentacles and the Hangman is here. So the past dynamic, the Hangman can be Pisces again. It can be, right? I feel like in the past somebody was stuck here, maybe uh, they could have took a sacrifice just to, to be juggling here in the past. One more card on the past dynamic, clarify the hangman please. I just feel like somebody was juggling a water sign in the past. 
and that it created the other person to be stuck and unhappy. The hangman can be, you know, feeling like stuck, like you're in limbo, right? Like on the fence, don't know what to do about a situation here. This is not on the fence, but it's hanging from the tree. Same thing. Four of Cups, two. This is unhappiness and discontentment here. I feel like somebody was just unhappy because somebody else was juggling. The current dynamic now is the Six of Swords and that somebody is just getting away from it all. They're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Uh, and clarifying that is the, the current dynamic. Let's clarify the Six of Swords before we go over to Vimeo. Yeah, Five of Wands popping out. Uh, force pop, right? So flyer, or whatever they call these cards. Um, jumper here. Five of Wands here. Six of Swords. Somebody's leaving because there's outside competition. I'm going to be going over to Vimeo Aquarius and talking about the block here. How they really feel about you. What they're hiding from you what they're fearing and their true intentions on Vimeo. All right, we're going to go over there and crack the case here, okay, and find out about this King of Pentacles and this uh, water sign, who I believe is, uh, somebody has a secret here. We're going to find out all about it. The extenders are super affordable. Guys can see all of them for $8.99, okay? So, yeah, so I'm making that super affordable. If you guys need a private reading, you're going to get one like this with the extended for $25. Bucks. Okay, thank you so much, you guys, and the information is in the about section.